So here's the block that I threw in the hot tank. I let it soak for a night and pulled it out this morning, gave it a good rinse, it's nice and clean, and I've got it spread out on the bench here, ready for a Magnaflux. Of course, I pressure tested this block before I hot tanked it to make sure that there was no cracks. Uh, why am I gonna Magnaflux it now? Because when I pressure tested it, I used this plate that has this nice thick rubber gasket on here, and I put it on this deck, bolted it down to fill the cavity where the coolant system is, full of air and then we checked to make sure there was no cracks in it. So with that happening, this in here around the water jackets and the bolt holes are stress points. And with this rubber gasket and plate here, if there was cracks here, they wouldn't be revealed through the pressure testing because we had them blocked off. So now the object is we're gonna come in here with the Magnaflux and we're gonna find out if there's any cracks in here. Uh, this is another area in here where sometimes they tend to crack due to stress or whatever reasons. And this is also another area that a pressure testing won't reveal any cracks. There's also a few other spots amongst the block that will pressure testing won't reveal any cracks. So I'm going to take the Magnaflux system here and I'm going to go around and check all those spots to make sure there's no cracks. Uh, I visually checked this block by eye and I'm going to say there is no cracks in this block, but that's not good enough. You need to Magnaflux it because as a challenge for myself, I scrutinize these blocks by eye to see if I can find any cracks. And then I check it with the Magnafluxing. And most of the time I was right. And sometimes I do see the crack and you know, I can point it out. And there's the odd time too where the Magnafluxing picks up a crack I didn't see. So always check it. So for Magnafluxing, We got this uh, this tool here, and I bought this from Good Sun. Uh, this is a nice tool. I've seen some different ones, uh, some half the size, a couple a quarter of the size, and I like this one. It seems stronger than than many. Uh, I forget what I determined I could, but but uh, when the magnet's on, I can pick up some pretty heavy stuff with this. Um, also have a magnetic particle here and basically you just uh, push the button and it creates a magnetic charge in between these two prongs and yeah you just you know, powder some uh, it's like a little perfume powder thing so yeah you just powder some of this powder on there and yeah, you look to see if it has any cracks uh, the magnetic charge will draw this powder into the crack uh, this powder in particular that I'm using uh, is also reacted to the black lights. So if I come across here with the black light, it, it'll actually uh, uh, make this stuff glow. Um, I got the black light set up. I'm not sure how much of that we're gonna actually see on camera. I'm gonna give it a shot though, and maybe you're just gonna get a black blur for a few seconds while we're doing the check, and maybe you'll get some uh, cool video of, you know, what this stuff does. So, basically take this and after years of messing with these small block Chevys, I know where pretty much all the stress points are. So we go straight to them. Common stress points are in between the bolt holes going up to these uh, water passages we got three water passages here. They like to crack, and when this starts splitting here, it might split into these bolt holes, and just your block just starts separating. And that's basically where we check. Inside the uh, lifter valley here, I like to check this too. It's Rare I see a crack in here, but I've seen cracks in here. Again, this one uh, I doubt has any cracks at all, but I got it all set up. I got the tool out, checked it all.
pretty sure I did in there, but. We'll do it again. So you can't see that from way up there, but I can see down here that uh, you know there's there, there's no cracks being displayed with my particle powder here. Um, I can pass over it with my black light, and again, it doesn't show anything. And if we wanted to get the uh, full test out of it, uh, I got two light switches here, so we get that one, and we get this one, and we'll pull the camera down. Not quite sure how much of this is showing up, but uh, from where I'm at, I'm telling you there's no cracks. It'd actually be nice if I had a cracked block here for an example, but I do not. All right. to check on these blocks is uh, in, in the mains. So the housing sometimes they crack along where these uh, oil passages are and right around in here where the uh, where the bolts go. Um, they can crack down in here maybe on little angles. I've kind of seen them crack everywhere so we come in there and we check it all. Again, I gotta shut lights out. And I'll pull you guys over here with me. And we'll uh, examine where I've checked this block. So, not sure exactly what you guys can see through the camera, but. I'm happy with what I'm seeing and I'm going to say there's no cracks in this block. All right, back up there for you guys. You know, it'd be fun if I had maybe a remote control or something to shut some of these lights off. Uh, so that's it. I'm not going to bother checking the crank and the rods. I got other parts I'm going to use for this for this engine that we're building out of here. Uh, I, I will check those at a later time. Um, just not tonight. Not now. Uh, so basically that's it for this section. And uh, next up, uh, I'm going to get these caps measured up. Uh, I'm going to get them torqued on. I'm going to measure the housing bores. I'm going to set this up on a machine. I'm going to see how straight the housing is. Um, we'll check the lifter galleys, or the lifter bores, I mean. And uh, once everything pans out, uh, we're going to take this over to one of the machines and start cutting it up. So, till then, hang tight, and uh, I'll get some more footage soon.
So I just remembered that uh, I meant to flux a couple of heads a few days ago and did pick up a crack in one of those and they were still sitting under the bench. The customer hasn't come to pick them up yet. So yeah, I'll be able to show you what a crack looks like. So this is the cylinder head that I found the crack in. Uh, I've circled the crack. This, this way I know where to find it so when the customer sh comes I can show them exactly where it is. You probably can't see it in the video, especially since I got the second light above us shut off. But uh, I can see where the uh, magnetic particles picked up and gathered in the cracks here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this light off. And we'll bring the ultraviolet light over. And there you go. So that right there is a crack. And... Uh, that's not a good one. It's a common spot for many cylinder heads. And unfortunately for this guy, uh, that's about pretty much the end of this cylinder head. As you can see here, just you know, some more of the dust sitting on there. That was the only crack in this cylinder head, but that's all it takes. So that'll be the end of that little adventure uh, for magnafluxing. Next step up is we're going to get this thing over to a machine and I'll have some video footage on that soon. Take care.